Facebook has invested $13 billion in teams and technology to enhance safety over the last five years. Over the last few months, they've taken down 1.7 billion fake accounts. Learn more about their ongoing work at about.fb.com slash safety. All right, just flying along here today in the Playhouse. Y94, 721 in the morning, zero and ABK in the Y94 morning Playhouse. You go out with somebody, you feel like you had a good time, but then nothing seems to happen. Are you getting ghosted? What's going on? Are they not interested? There's nothing worse than that never progressing to at least a conclusion, right? If somebody's not into you, you kind of like to know why. Yeah, what did I do wrong? It, you know, was there something horrible about me? Well, and even better, if it's, is it something you can fix? Like, did you make an actual genuine mistake that mm-hmm. you could then learn from in further dates? Well, in Second Date Update, we try to either get somebody another date or at least that closure so they understand what went wrong with somebody they were otherwise into. So today we have Jake Playhouse, family member. Jake, tell us about who you went out with, what you did, and where you think it went wrong if you did. All right. Um, yeah, so basically I met this girl. Her name's Lisa. Um, I found her on Tinder. And, you know, we had a great, like, lead up. Um, you know, we texted a, a bunch for it was close to two weeks. And um, we decided to go out. We went out, like, twice, actually. And the, they were both really great. And then suddenly, like, after the second one, I can't get her to, like, go on another date with me. And so I, I don't know if I maybe, like, intimidated her. Um, for instance, because like, like on our second date, we're, we're both really into fitness and like working out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, you know, I don't know if she's intimidated by me, you know, being like a, a professional like bodybuilder and, and making that all about my life. Are you, wait, are you are a professional bodybuilder or you're like a professional bodybuilder? Cause those are two very different things. I, well, I'm in the, I'm, I'm in the shape. Of a professional okay. bodybuilder. Okay. Okay. I mean, did you like challenge her to an arm wrestling contest or something? I don't under <laughs> like I don't know why that would make her change her mind and just not really talk well, to you anymore. Kind of. I mean, we just. Uh, I mean, the second day we went to the gym, and um, I had her. You know, we like uh, took turns uh, lifting. And, um, you know, she spotted me. I, I thought it was a cool day. Um, but after that, she's, like, evidently not interested. So I mean, I it definitely know. seems like you guys at least have, you know, similar things you're into. So if you're open to it, playing in, out in front of everybody listening, we'll go ahead and give her a call and see if we can't get you either A, another date, or B, at least some closure there, man. All right. I'd appreciate it. All right. Hang on. Wake up, wake up. Y94 Morning Playhouse. This is Y94. The music. All the jokes. Get me ready to get to work every day. I'm a lush. Okay. Y94 Playhouse in the morning. Love. Depressing and mean. It can break your heart. Or rupture your spleen Yeah, love sucks Horrible hookups you'll now relive Yeah, love sucks Lucky for you, that's a positive Okay, we're in the middle of uh, trying to do a second date update here for Playhouse family member Jake, who went out with somebody named Lisa. Uh, Now, Jake, do you still hear us okay? Yeah. All right, so I have I have good news and I have bad news here in second date up day for you. So the bad news is that we did have a uh, brief conversation with Lisa. She is not interested in another date. She's not interested in going on the show. She knew who we were the second we called, so we weren't able to get her on. But we did get uh, just a glimpse as to why she claims she doesn't want to go out with you again. Do you really want to okay. know? Well, I mean, yeah, I definitely do. Okay, so you guys went out on the first date, and you guys just hung out, and you did, like, a d- dinner drinks thing or whatever. But then the yeah. next day, and you told us this, you guys went to the gym. Mm-hmm. Okay, so tell me again why you thought it made sense to go to the gym on the second date. Well, on the first date, I mean, we kept talking about, like, sports, working out, and, 
you know, different, ex- like how we like to exercise a bunch. And so I thought it would be kind of like a nice treat, I guess, to take her to the gym and kind of, you know, do some spotting back and forth and kind of have an exercise day. Okay. So she claims that you at some point in this conversation offered her a couple of things. Do you want to elaborate on that or do you want me to elaborate that on from what she said? I mean, well, well, every time I work out, I always take like a um, a pre workout, um, and I share. I get. I gave her some of that, um, and it is pretty intense. She actually mentioned, like, "Wow, I feel kind of like I just had five cups of coffee." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, but I mean, um, is there anything else in that duffel bag?" Because if I'm understanding correctly, and I don't know a lot about this stuff, she made it sound like he offered her steroids, dude. <laughs> Um, well, yes, I mean, I don't know if I, I I wasn't going to say that, I guess, but yes, I I did. I mean, but they're totally legal. They're, they're (laughs) fine. Um, I use them all the time. They give me super buff. Um, but she took a couple and was like, thanks. But that was, is that what she said? She, that was the issue? Um, she said there was a duffel bag of syringes, which <laughs> I, don't, okay. like, I don't know what you, what you have going on exactly, but I got to be okay. honest with you, man. I thought it was weird enough you guys went to the gym on the fir- on the second date. Like, the, If you literally were like, let me shoot you up with this, on a, that's not going to be a date, dude. And I, that is not legal. Don't lie to me. Well, I mean. Duffel bag of syringes. It's legal in some states. Mm. I mean. I don't know the whole rules, but I, I like to work out, and that's basically who I'm looking for is a partner that I can go to the gym with, like, every day, and I kind of thought Lisa was that. I don't know. Like, I get sharing an interest with someone, and you thought that would be a good idea going to the gym. I also get bringing people gifts on dates, but, like, as in flowers, <laughs> not steroids. <laughs> I, th- I don't know. I thought she would be down. And she seen, I mean, we were talking about all sorts of like tricks and the like, energy drinks and, 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 and like protein shakes, smoothies, a bunch of different things. And I whipped out some steroids and I thought that she would be okay with that. So, a couple of things to take from this, man. One, you're not getting another date with Lisa. Two, maybe ease into that conversation next time and don't assume everybody does that three really look at maybe if you should be doing that too but that's that's your own personal thing as far as the date goes it's not happening man i'm sorry well all right well thank you guys i so appreciate it hey it's not every day we get to talk to somebody built like a professional bodybuilder jake we appreciate it man (laughs) Thanks. Okay. Uh, text club, really not super supportive of, of no. what Jake's got going on. They don't like his choices. Someone called him a loser. Uh, taking drugs to lift weights does not make you an athlete. Someone said good for her for not wanting to date him. What a pathetic loser. I cannot believe him. All right. The almost impossible question of the day with Amy K for some Fargo Force tickets in minutes. You and I play house. You're in the playhouse on Y94. Why 94?